Welcome to Beyond Nature, and let's get to the bottom of some common misconceptions about our solar system. Thank you for watching, and enjoy. Let's start at the heart of our solar system with our star, the mighty sun. One thing I've noticed more and more online is some people thinking of the sun as a giant ball of fire, which makes them question how fire could burn in the vacuum of space. In reality, the sun is a massive, self-luminous ball of plasma. It's fueled by nuclear fusion reactions happening at its core, not by burning like a conventional fire. This nuclear fusion process converts hydrogen into helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy that powers the sun and provides light and heat to our solar system. The sun's immense gravity acts as the glue that holds the entire solar system together. It governs the orbits of all the planets, dwarf planets, and other celestial bodies. Its gravitational influence even extends to impacting Earth's climate and causing seasonal changes over long periods of time. Although the sun appears yellow to us, it actually emits all the colors of the rainbow. The combination of these colors makes the sun's light appear white. The yellow hue we see is due to Earth's atmosphere scattering the shorter blue wavelengths more than the longer red wavelengths, giving the sun its yellow appearance. Many people believe Mercury is the hottest planet because it's closest to the sun. However, Venus holds the title of the hottest planet in our solar system due to its dense atmosphere, which traps heat in a runaway greenhouse effect. Mercury lacks a thick atmosphere to retain heat, resulting in extreme temperature fluctuations between day and night. Mars is often called the red planet, but it isn't red because it's red hot. The reddish appearance comes from iron oxide, or rust, in the Martian soil. Mars's surface has been oxidized over time, giving it its distinctive color. Saturn's rings are a captivating feature, but they aren't solid like they appear from a distance. When we get up close, we see they're composed of countless particles of ice and rock, ranging from tiny dust grains to house-sized boulders, with some chunks even reaching the size of a mountain. These particles are thought to be remnants of comets, asteroids, or even shattered moons that were torn apart by Saturn's strong gravity. While Saturn's rings are certainly the most famous, it's not the only planet in our solar system with rings. Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, and even the dwarf planet Haumea have ring systems of their own, though they're not as prominent as Saturn's. The phrase dark side of the moon often suggests that one side of the moon is always in the dark. In reality, both sides of the moon experience periods of sunlight and darkness as the moon orbits Earth. The term dark side actually refers to the far side of the moon, which is never visible from Earth due to tidal locking. Asteroids and comets are often confused, but they have distinct differences. Asteroids are rocky objects, while comets are icy and develop a glowing coma and tail as they approach the sun, leaving a trail of dust and gas. Jupiter's great red spot is sometimes misunderstood as a red hotspot on the planet's surface. In reality, it's a colossal storm similar to a hurricane that has been raging for centuries. The storm's reddish color is thought to be due to complex organic molecules, red phosphorus, or other chemicals. Pluto, once considered the ninth planet of our solar system, was reclassified as a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, in 2006. Pluto did not meet all the new criteria for what constitutes a planet, specifically because it has not cleared its neighboring region of other objects, meaning there are similar sized or other large objects still in Pluto's orbit. This reclassification is a reminder of how scientific understanding evolves over time as new discoveries are made. Speaking of dwarf planets, not all dwarf planets reside in the distant outskirts of the solar system. Ceres, a dwarf planet, is located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, making it the largest object in the asteroid belt. 
many planets in our solar system have moons, some of which are larger than the planet Mercury. For instance, Ganymede, one of Jupiter's moons, is the largest moon in the solar system and has geysers that blast from the planet, hinting at a possible underground ocean. Earth's moon is more than just a pretty sight in the night sky. It plays a crucial role in stabilizing our planet's rotation, which helps maintain a relatively stable climate. The moon also generates tides, influencing and moving Earth's oceans. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, is a prime candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. Beneath its icy surface, scientists believe there may be a vast ocean of liquid water making it one of the most intriguing objects in the solar system. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is home to hundreds of billions of stars, and there are billions to trillions of galaxies in the universe. This means there are countless other solar systems out there, each with its own planets and potentially habitable environments. The search for exoplanets, planets that orbit stars beyond our own sun, is one of the most exciting fields in astronomy. Discovering these distant worlds helps scientists understand the diversity of planetary systems and the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. By studying our own solar system, we gain valuable insights into the formation and evolution of other planetary systems. This knowledge enhances our understanding of our place in the universe and fuels the quest to find life beyond Earth. Looking at the conditions of other worlds makes me grateful for the chance to experience life on Earth and to share this moment with all of you. Thank you for joining me on this journey through our solar system and beyond. I hope you found the truth behind some of these misconceptions as fascinating as I did. If you enjoyed this video and would like to show your support, feel free to hit the like button and share this video with other curious minds. Your support truly goes a long way, helping others find and enjoy these adventures. I would also like to thank this amazing community for the ongoing support. I appreciate you all. I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you would like to join me on more adventures soon, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.